Hi, friends. This is Joe Chadburn, the Ambassador Network Director here at World Missionary Press. We have Yuri Lenitsky back with us today, a seasoned ambassador, someone who loves sharing the gospel and sharing about World Missionary Press. Uh, welcome, Yuri. Thank you very much. Blessing to everybody who listen to us and watch uh, this video. Hopefully, this um, this uh, series, what we uh, prepare for you, will be helpful and will be uh, useful. So again, uh, we sharing our experience, uh, what we do and how we do, but um, everything what uh, you're gonna apply in your life, use your imagination, how my brother Joe say, use your imagination, it's not limited, and uh, use on circumstances where you are, and apply based on your creation and knowledge. Yes, the Lord will give you wisdom to function in the context that you're in. And before we go any further, in the midst of this COVID-19 virus, we just want you to know that we're praying for all of our partners. Um, we love you so much. We appreciate your prayers, your support, just everything that you are doing to share the love of Jesus, even if it's online, uh, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very important. And Yuri and I are practicing social distancing right now. He's in Georgia, I'm all the way in Indiana, but I look forward to getting back to the, uh, the Atlanta area. But we are praying with you, we love you so much, and we know that people are going through things right now. We want you to know that you are in our prayers. We're also so confident as uh, this Resurrection Day, Easter season, uh, as they call it, you know, approaches that Jesus, the incarnate Christ, the man who is 100% God and 100% human, uh, is, is living proof that God will never give up on mankind. And he is our example that we will rise from the ashes and whatever happens, uh, humanity will rise from whatever's happening with this coronavirus. And I believe that Jesus is going to shine even brighter and brighter uh, than we've seen in, in our generation. So we look forward to that, but at the same time, we, we don't take this lightly and we are just prayerfully uh, just pressing into this and leaning into the Lord and just enjoying Him, Yuri. I've been enjoying the peace of the Lord and times of prayer, times of quietness and contemplation uh, reading, listening to audio books, uh, just ministering to others through Messenger and through the telephone and, and internet, various ways. So, um, you know, we can't, we just, we just, you know, the love of God prevails in the midst of what, whatever is happening. So we just want you to know our friends all around the world, you are, you're in our thoughts and in our prayers. So with, yeah, with that, remember, yes. And remember, you're not alone. Uh, no. We're with you. And uh, if you need prayer or, or you feel lonely, uh, please call, please text, please email. Uh, even if we, like Paul say, if I'm not here uh, physically, we are there spiritually. Amen. So we, we're with you guys. Yes, amen. That's, that's beautiful. And thank you. Absolutely. And you can, if you need to get up with me, it's uh, joe at wmpress.org, or not too many people put their phone number out there, but I will, my mobile number, 574-538-9184. Uh, um, and that's a uh, country code plus one. And I am on WhatsApp. If you, if you want to connect, you, you just want somebody to pray with you and, uh, and or just somebody to talk to. You're just hurting. Uh, we need to be here for each other. And some people are suffering uh, much worse than others during, uh, during this time. So we just want to, uh, to press through that. Uh, God hadn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love, a sound mind, self-discipline. And we're, we're just so appreciative of that. And I just thank the Lord for what he is doing. Even in the midst of this, I believe he's working all things together for good and that beauty is going to really arise from the, from the ashes of this. And uh, just, we're just a wonderful awakening of who Jesus is, who we are in him. And uh, I, I just, I just, I'm just believing that uh, we're going to come out on the other side of this, walking in greater love and greater power and, uh, and just, uh, just be a, a force for heaven <laughs> on earth. 
So without further ado. Yeah, I, can, I yeah. can say even, even add something that remember, fear is also have a faith. Mm -hmm. So do you have a bigger fear, bigger faith in fear in virus, or you have a bigger faith in Jesus? Mm -hmm. who is living proof God who heal all the sicknesses and who is uh, as we remember Pasqua his blood was covered and I pronounce I proclaim covering of blood of Jesus over your uh, over your soul over your spirit over your body wherever you go wherever you minister brothers May God's blood, uh, Jesus' blood, covering you in a, like in a Pasqua uh, back on um, Egypt. Mm -hmm. They covered, and this is what we do in spiritual way. We cover ourselves with blood of Jesus. And remember, faith in Jesus is stronger because blood of Jesus not only forgive our sins but also protect us from any, any, any diseases any circumstances or even spiritual things too and the thing with that and a lot of people my theology leans in a certain direction that a lot of people may not but i really see um you know the primary function of the passover was sustenance they ate the whole lamb they partook of the lamb and they had sustenance for the next leg of their journey <laughs> okay. that sustained them as they left Egypt. And uh, I, I find that to be a very beautiful thing. Not that God was bloodthirsty or anything like that, but this lamb pointed to Jesus who was slain from the foundation of the world for us and is our sustenance. So like you're saying, faith too is not, he is my faith. You know, Jesus is my faith. Faith is fruit of the spirit. It's not something that I have to work up but it's something that I simply lean into and yield to because Mr. Faith lives in me. And I find that to be a beautiful thing. Uh, Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, not my own faith, who loved me and gave himself for me. And he goes on later in that chapter to say, therefore, I do not frustrate the grace of God. God's faith is available to us. That is a given. It's a matter of leaning into it. I find that so beautiful. And the whole Passover story, he is our sustenance. Regardless of what we're going through, he is our sustenance. And as we partake of the lamb, as we always do, but in this season, as we partake of the lamb, as we, as we fellowship with him, as we meditate on him, as we just receive his love and give his love away, I believe that it, it is sustenance for, uh, for, for a special time now and when we're able to leave our houses. When this thing has is, 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 is passed over, there's no more warnings or anything like that. We can hug, we can kiss, we can do all these things that we do. In my culture where I grew up, we kiss. We, we greet each other with a holy kiss, you know? Uh, Southern European. Uh, just, just do it three times. Yeah, just, just, just how we do. I live in the Midwest and they don't do that. So I, I refrain from, you know, in certain circles. But I look forward to that. But I thank the Lord for this sustenance. And, and you know, I feel this is, you know, this isn't something that's, uh, that, that's extraneous, what we're talking about here. I know that we're, we're getting into, we're going to talk about Bonnaroo and festivals. But I believe that this is, uh, is just so very important and people need to be encouraged during this time so i've said without further ado and we're going to get into bonnaroo <laughs> a couple of times already but uh but let's uh do you have anything else yuri or would you are you, you ready to talk about bonnaroo and the larger uh events that you do um yeah we can uh we can start uh, sharing uh, about bonnaroo um but this is but before we we share this uh this thing uh, we want to, that's why we started, it's, it's come guided by Holy Spirit. We, mm -hmm. we feel it that you need wo uh, words of support, word, uh, words of uh, encouragement, so you're not alone, remember that. And we go back to what we uh, promised to you to do. As we promised, we're going to uh, share about Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo 
it's uh, one of festivals that happen. Uh, it's international festival. It's happened here in the United States. Um, it's about music and art. Now this, uh, now this, just to break it down a little bit, I was on their website. This, it looks like it's a three day festival. Looks like yes, it's three it's days. It looks huge. There's a lot of bands that I've never heard of, but it looks like it's huge. And this is in Tennessee. Is that correct? Yes, that's okay. correct. Uh, it's located in the uh, state of Tennessee. It's United States, uh, south of United States. Uh, the city is Manchester, and um, it's uh, have a few thousand, uh, five, few thousand acres of open field, which is huge. Wow. Uh, it's leading two major roads. Uh, where you can access and people with campers, uh, they travel. And just to, uh, just to give you an estimation, when, they, uh, when we start servicing them, it was gathering 140, 120, 140,000 people on that festival. 120 to 140,000 people. Yeah. That's amazing. It's, it's a lot. And if you're looking from the sky, we have a pictures. <laughs> it's, it's become big city. <laughs> it's become mm -hmm. big city. So many people and different, and uh, we, 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 we have an opportunity to talk with some people. They travel from different countries, from Germany, from France, from Italy, from uh, South America. Uh, uh, from Canada, wow. some of them they travel from all states. They travel almost one day, one day and a half, two days. Some of them travel three, four days from California. They coming to Bonnaroo, and it's wow. a huge experience. Those people, and uh, what's special about this uh, festival? That festival represent uh, most famous singers coming on that uh, on that festival. So all stars, all uh, idols, uh, like we say, American idols, uh -huh. everybody is there on those three days. But I not want to advertise the festival, but I want to say what's happening in this festival. This is why we choose this festival. Uh, first things, um, when we're looking on the statistics, we saw on that festival dying five, seven, ten people each season from overdoses, from suicide. It's not accidents. Oh, wow. And when we read that, my friend uh, from um, uh, also from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, he feel it that, and uh, he shared with us, those people, we may be the last resort who they see it, and who will may have an opportunity to hear about Jesus Christ. Now these, now these, so that our listeners, so that I'm up to speed on this, and I heard that correctly, you're saying that that as a result, or people that have come from this festival, these these suicides are happening during or after, or how how is this happening? Yeah, the suicides, overdoses. This festival is have a plenty of beer, uh, drugs, whatever. So and people are uh, dying at the event. At the event, yes. Ooh. Uh, law enforcement lately they start screening at the entrance, uh, but again, there is no way to uh, to screen because uh, when you see uh, we have videos when you see the cars is just continuously going, 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 ten, fifteen miles stretch up, and we start like eight o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, and we end up two o'clock in the in the morning. Wow. In cars still going in non stop, mm -hmm. it's just continuously going, going, going. You need to see it's amazing so how many people going. So, uh, definitely, law enforcement don't have enough time to screen that much people during uh, one day because entrance happening everything in one day. What is mm -hmm. Friday, 
since morning to the evening, they must repass 140,000 cars or, or less cars, maybe 80,000 cars and screen all of this. It's almost impossible to screen completely drug-free or alcohol-free or something like this. Mm -hmm. For that reason, when we see that uh, there is suicides, there is uh, drug abuse, we decided to start servicing those people. And, and, uh, and definitely, as you know, we evangelists, we like to speak one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. But on that case, when it's car going, we have only five, seven seconds, three seconds, depends speed how they're running, you have three, five seconds to, to, to approach to anyone. And mm -hmm. in the car, it can be sitting two, three person. Mm -hmm. How we can preach them gospel, how we can tell them, hey, whatever is happening on that place to you, remember there is God. We don't have a time to speak. We mm -hmm. don't have a moment to, to share that, to assure them that they are not alone. Look, life is matter. You is matter. Uh, God doesn't create the black, white, uh, black, uh, white, yellow uh, people race. God created human race. Mm -hmm. uh, our lives is matter, and you matter. You matter. Uh, God have a purpose for you. We don't have that time to tell the person. Yeah. And when they come there, they encounter. They come for fun, but not all of them find the fun. Because yeah. fun is not in drugs, fun is not in alcohol, fun is not in the music. Mm -hmm. So we don't have at that time to speak to them about purpose of the life, about how valuable they are. But mm -hmm. we have a very powerful tool, which uh, God bless that, that ministry. Uh, uh, we're getting from a World Missionary Press. Um, they provide us uh, literature free of charge and different languages mainly we use english but we also equipped with the other languages we have it in case uh, spanish and uh, have uh, some french some in mm -hmm. the pockets because if they come from canada they say no english uh, or french french and we pack it and, and give it so that literature is small uh, like credit card it's very small size yes. and uh, uh, they equip us uh, ahead, and we we we, uh, we notify that that uh, ministry, and they faithfully provide every year. Every year when we come in there, they faithfully provide us this literature. And yes, on that that those little booklets, uh, help from above or how to know God, you need to see the eyes how people take. Mm -hmm. I can say I like statistics. 99%, listen, be careful, 99% people, I can say more, 99.9% .9 people accepting those books, mm -hmm. which is amazing. That, that uh, is. And now, th now this is, you're handing them to people through the car window as they're going by, yeah. as traffic stops. And um, not to interject here, but if you're interested in hearing more about this or, or actually seeing some pictures, uh, we have them on the ambassador website, uh, wmpambassadors.org. And uh, you can go to the blog and put Yuri Onitsky, put his name in there, or Bonnaroo, and, uh, and you'll, see, you'll see some, uh, some stories about this and some pictures that, uh, that Yuri has provided. He's always got, I mean, his Facebook page is always loaded with things uh, that he's doing, and we, we're just so appreciative uh, for you, Yuri. So you're passing these out as people go by. So they're rolling the windows down. You're giving them uh, them these booklets. That's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. How, many, how, many, how many are you handing out each year on the average, do you think? Uh, we are always short. You're always we, short. We, we, uh, we order, um, first time we, we order like 5,000. Mm -hmm. And we say, oh, it will be maybe plenty. So 5,000. Each, uh, each car have a two, three person. So it will cover, it will be mm -hmm. enough. And when we, uh, and when we uh, came there, uh, so we spread. And the first time when we get there, like uh, in the middle of the day, we was nothing. And I pull out from my car, whatever is there, because people stop, do you have anything for us? And you know how, how you feel on that moment? <laughs> mm -hmm. They begging 
us for good and we're not enough. Last, last year we ordered uh, 6,000, 7,000. We, uh, I think uh, last time we ordered almost 9,000 uh, bookers. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and my friend, my friend ordered about 5,000. I ordered about 4,000 or 6,000 uh, bookers. And we get there and 11 o'clock night, we are We're gone. Yeah. Gone. And I, I don't want to overtake because uh, we we spreading. But uh, I say I told uh, uh, my uh, guys who was with us. I say Valera, we need to order maybe twenty thousand because we are always short. And uh, uh, and it's counting that we servicing uh, most of the time. We servicing only one row. Mm -hmm. There is two entrances. But us, our ability, like we don't have so much, uh, so much, uh, uh, by the way, if you live in the United States and you're interested to participate, we welcome you because we need more uh, people. Uh, and if you're young, uh, if you have a church or teenagers, uh, please join us because uh, there is another entrance in, in, in the entrance, we need at least four, six, ten people in one entrance. Because uh, standing over there, we stay two, three persons. Mm -hmm. And we're giving those books. Uh, when it's cars driving, they pull in the window, but they cannot stop completely. They, they drive like three, two, three mile hour, and we're just handing, you know. So mm -hmm. if somebody misses, another person recover, you know. So we need and uh, one hour or fifteen minutes. We need to switch because it's get tired and it's uh, heat, you know. So for that reason, we need if we have more people in, we will cover even other entrance. It mm -hmm. will be even we may need it twenty thirty thousand booklets on that festival. And what's what's amazing? Uh, what's amazing about that we saw some people who was on festival other years mm -hmm. and how I was surprised some of them they have on a dash on uh -huh. dashboard they put the booklet as a protection they testify wow. they say oh I have a booklet from last year it protects wow. me from evil and from tickets wow. <laughs> And I say, did you read it? Or he said, oh yeah, every time when I, I get lonely, I read it. And it's, it's make me very joy because those booklets, they are mini Bibles. Basically, they are mini Bibles. Mm -hmm. They have Bible scriptures only, what's amazing. And uh, those, uh, those testimonies when we hear uh, from people that they uh, they reading, and uh, obviously, yes, they have fun. And sometimes when, once they get lonely, they, they pull the book when they start reading, they start thinking. And it's another way to, to make preaching, to share the gospel in that quick but effective way because you give to the person hands and what uh, I see, they, they took it. They take it, mm -hmm. they put it in their cars, they put some of them in pockets. Even some others, I saw they open wallet and they put inside the wallet and say, wow, this is amazing. That's so, wonderful. That's that's wonderful. And to anyone and everyone who's who's watching, you may be thinking of a particular event that's going on in your area. Uh, Yuri obviously can't hit every event in the world, but I'm thinking of events like Burning Man, and there's things all over the United States, music festivals, uh, just ways that you can share the love of Jesus with people. Um, and, and to be creative, you know, things will change from setting to setting and the way we do things in certain cultures and, and according to how different events are arranged, arranged and whatever, the logistics may be different, uh, but we serve the same father and he loves people and we can, we can trust him to, to, you know, to function through us and love through us. The main thing what I want to, uh, this is why we, we create to encourage you this video, but also I want to give you one tip, what's maybe you asking yourself, hey guys, how you enter on that Bonnaroo Festival? Uh, which authority you connect, uh, how you get permit, uh, and e even uh, do you have any law enforcement problems or anybody uh, beat you or say bad words to you? How about that? Okay, my answer. 
what is amazing, I don't know, everywhere. First of all, we not contact in any uh, county or any permission not needed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because uh, when uh, you on those kind of festivals, by the entrances, staying, we not go inside the festival, we stay by the entrance, which is more effective. Because if you go in and there is blending and people walking, it's not, not good. But if you stay outside by the entrance, it's public area. And by the law of the United States or other countries, a public area is permitted to, to share. Uh, to to give uh, mm -hmm. and it's uh, not uh, it's it's legal okay Very first thing. so you're not needed to get permit to participate in this kind of festivals special permit yes second thing um, once you participate uh, don't be afraid that uh, police can come over to you uh, in our case on Bonnaroo police protecting us mm -hmm. a few policemen they come over they uh, they approach to us, and once they know what we're doing, uh, we uh, give them also booklets. It's another <laughs> testimony. But they say, guys, we want to protect you. If any any case, any situation, just let us know. Some of them they give us their business like police card. They say, mm -hmm. if anything, don't call nine one one. Call me directly. We're here in the area. Wow. So you need to know that policemen also not against what you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Police, uh, don't be afraid of that. Uh, police, uh, most of the time, they they covering you up and they protect you. Uh, so not need to be afraid of that situation. The third one, um, yeah, how about reaction people? Like I just mentioned, 99.8%, they are pleased. And they some of them, they say, God bless you. Some of them, they... They taking uh, some of them. They say we need it, so don't be afraid. Uh, the police, uh, the, the the people can uh, say something against you or something like this. So uh, what else? So this is mainly think uh, what uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, stop from evangelizing people going to the street. Because they're thinking that in the United States you have to uh, have uh, some kind of permits to do this. Mm -hmm. No. As soon as you're in public, as soon as you don't do disturbance, uh, like uh, not fighting uh, with nobody, uh, police and uh, law enforcement or, or authorities, they in your side. Uh, Praise they, the Lord. Sound, sounds like the Lord's giving you a lot of favor too, where they're giving you business cards and saying, we, we want to help you call us directly. That's, yeah. uh, and that's, the last one, uh, what uh, I may will tell every video since uh, we're going to share about the festival, the last, last one, you may encounter some people, they say, oh, uh, you are soliciting or you are littering. So this is also another tip for you. Uh, soliciting word means when you give something in exchange for money. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to be afraid. You're not a solicitor because once we give a booklet, we give free of charge. And many people, they even ask us how much or can I donate you? Uh, we always respond the same way. If you want to make donation, there is on the back, there is a uh, business uh, like address and website, go mm -hmm. there and make donation. So we're not accepting any kind of money and I suggest you not to do it. Uh, otherwise you become solicitor. And if somebody want to make a trap for you, if, as soon as you accept anything from person, you become solicitor. But as soon as you don't do this, you're not a solicitor. So don't be afraid, you're not breaking the law. And littering. Littering means when you throwing stuff mm -hmm. on the street. Uh, many, some of the people they uh, approach to us and they say, uh, "Guys, uh, I saw a booklet over there. You littering." Uh, we explain them, and it's good you forcing that knowledge. It's not littering. You're not mm -hmm. you giving to the person, and it's about the person who is deciding what's to do with this. Uh, book yes so in case if you have this kind of situation don't be afraid you are not a leader uh, stay in public public sites 
and uh, I will share with you uh, one more um, about 4th of July in downtown Atlanta. It was mm -hmm. about 5,000 people, and I will share how, how we did, because there is special events, big events in downtown Atlanta. There is some other laws, and I also will tell you in another video how to apply those laws on events when public places switch into different kind of uh, things. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is all what I want to share with you, and I encourage you to start participating from those kind of festivals, and don't be afraid, you're legally protected. Praise the Lord. And on the soliciting note, right on the back of all of our literature, it says not for sale, not to be sold. So <laughs> we're very, very serious about that. We catch you doing it. You're not going to get any more booklets. <laughs> you'll, you'll have a harsh, a harsh warning uh, at the least, but uh, no, no yeah. selling. No. So praise the Lord. Love you, brother Yuri. It's been great. Uh, to all of our viewers, God bless you. We love you. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed as well. And everyone who watching, may God protection be all open to you. Amen.